Hi, Year 3, Mr Jones here um, on Monday morning. Hope you've had a lovely weekend. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today, just looking at our feedback. You're great at working out the perimeter of 2D shapes. Just a quick point, always use a ruler when you're drawing shapes. Yeah, so I want those straight lines. Okay, so really important. Okay, so let's have a look at the answers for yesterday. Okay, I'll just put these answers up. So you can take a screenshot of those and mark your book. Obviously, we probably haven't got a purple pen, but if you just look through and make sure you've got them right. If you haven't, just double check, look at the answers and see if you can work them out correctly. Fantastic. Okay, so I've got a fluency first here. Um, we're going to revisit the eight times table with Adele there. So practice those eight times table, really important times table. Okay, so that's what we're doing in our fluency first. Okay, today's lesson, we're going to be working out, we're going to be calculating. Okay, so we're not measuring necessarily today, we're going to be calculating. So the information, the measurements will be given to you and you need to work out the perimeter of 2D shape. So not measuring, but working out, calculating. Okay, new learning is practiced. So we can work out how much fence school needs to buy. Okay, remember the perimeter is the out, the distance outside the shape. Okay, so that's what we're going to be working today. Working on today, also really important to check our units, make sure that we're talking about the correct units centimeters, meters, or millimeters. Okay, let's have a look at our slides. Okay, really re important to remember, we should, we should be really recalling this now. One meter is 100 centimeters. One centimeter is 10 millimeters. And one meter is equivalent to or equal to a thousand millimeters. Okay, so remember looking at your ruler, got measurements in, in, in centimetres or millimetres. 10 centimetres is the same as what? In millimetres, it's 100 millimetres, 10 times bigger. Okay, let's have a look. So, unit eight, lesson nine, discover, share, think together. Then we'll also be looking at practice books B, 3B, page 110. So that's where you'll find Okay, so this is what we've got. The school is putting a new fence around the playground. How much fence does the school need to buy? The school is putting a new fence around the playground. How much fence does the school need to buy? So here we've got the playground, nice activities obviously drawn onto the floor. Pop scotch there. So what we're going to do, we're going to measure this outside the perimeter of this shape. And said, that's a really important thing that we can get used to doing, is to put our point on. Okay. Really important. What I'm saying there is when we've got a shape, so we don't double count, put a spot or put a pencil mark where you're going to start your measuring. Okay, so I'm going to, so it's this distance, the perimeter goes around, and I go down here. We're not measuring, we're calculating. And then across here. And then up there, obviously the fence doesn't include the vent playground, so it's going around, so there's two meters here, and then another two meters. Now I know that when I finish calculating, I stop where that dot is. I'm not going to double count any lines. It's a nice tip. Okay, so here I've got five meters, so they put it on a number line. So five meters, then I've got another five meters, which takes me to 10 meters. 
then I've measured this, then I've calculated with this seven meters. So I'm at 10 meters at the moment. That takes me to 17 meters of fencing. And I go add the three. And that takes me to 17 add three, 17 in my head, 18, 19, 20 meters. And then I've got two lots of two. They can add them. I end up with 24 meters. Okay, so we can, we've used a number line in that method. What we can also do, if we want to, is we could have said, oh, look, I know my number bonds. I know my number bonds. I know that five add five is 10. Group those together. Five add five is 10. And then I know that seven and three is 10. So I've got two lots of 10 with 20. And then I add two extra two meters. Done it like that. Okay, so I end up with 24. Okay, the second part of the question, Amelia runs twice around the outside of the playground. How many meters does she run? So here, I could do the what? Number sentence, column addition, 24, add 24. Fours are in the ones column. Four add four is eight ones. And I've got two tens, add two tens, is 48. Alternatively, I could have done 24 times by, which is the same as my repeat addition. 24 times two, four times two is eight. Two lots, 20. 40. In my head, two lots of 20 is 40, two lots of four is eight, and I get the same answer. So any of those written methods, or if you want to, you can do it in your head because that's quite easy numbers to deal with. Two lots of 20, two lots of four gives me 48. So different approaches you could have used to solve that. Okay, let's go look at the next. Okay, so here we go. What is the perimeter of the school's adventure play area? So it's a square shape. We can see that it's a square. Two meters by two meters by two meters. So our total perimeter, quite easy. The perimeter of the play area would be eight meters. Okay. Square shape, rectangular. All the sides are equal. Got right angles. So this is a square. So the perimeter of that square is eight meters. Okay, so here, again, we've got a slightly different question. Children run around the perimeter of the school playing field three times. How many meters do they run? So again, I'm putting this here. 30 at five is 35. 45, 50, 60, 65. At 30, is 95, and then 95 add 15. 95 add five would be 100, and my 10 would be 110. So I make that 110 meters. Is that the answer to the question? That is the perimeter of this playing field, is 110 meters. What does the question tell me? The children run around the printer of the school three times. So I'm going to have to 110. I could repeat addition. I could add three lots of 110. Or I could do what? Multiplication. 
get my 110 times by three. Or I could do a partitioning. I could say I've got three lots of 100, which is 300. I've got three lots of 10, 30. Therefore, how many meters do the children run all together? They run 330 meters. Yes, that would be my answer. Let's move Miss Jones again over here. Rena makes this shape out of steel. What is the perimeter? Okay. This time we've been talking about meters in the earlier questions. This question for the unit, it's centimeters. Okay, so I'm going to work out the perimeter of this shape. I'm putting my dot again. This is where I'm going to start. The 30 add 20, 30 add 20, 3 add 2 is 5, make it 10 times bigger, so that would be 50. Add the 15 onto 50, and we would get 65, not 65 metres, but 65 centimetres. Okay, the school's nature area has four sides and a perimeter of 18 meters. Lexi has measured one side of the nature area, it is six meters long. Zach has measured another side of the nature area, it is four meters long. What could the other side's length be? So, so we've got, we know, let's have a look at what we know. We know the school's nature area is four sides and a perimeter of 18 meters. Lexi has measured one side, which is six. Zach's measuring the other. So those two together add up to 10. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Zach has measured another side, of, so it's four meters. This boy is asking me, Zach's asking me, I wonder if the nature area is a rectangle. Let's have a look. I'm just going to do a sketch, not using the ruler, but just a quick sketch. So if it was a rectangular shape, and we knew this side was six metres, stones, six there, four there, that would mean this would be six, and this would be four. Let's add those up. Six and four is ten. Six and four is ten. If it was a rectangle with those measurements, the perimeter would be 20 metres. But we know it's not 20 metres, it's 18 metres. Therefore, it cannot be a rectangular shape. OK, there's loads of different quadra quadrilaterals. It could be. It could be six and four. And then we could have five and three. Six and four is 10, five and three is eight. It could be six and four, and two and six. It can be a range of different, not a rectangle, but it can be a lot of different measurements. That quadrilateral can be a lot of different measurements. So when we're not 100% sure what shape it is. The information they've given us doesn't really give us enough information. The other side, the other, the other side lengths could be four and four. They could be two and six. They could be seven and one. Okay, so they could be a range of different answers. So in this area, you can put your own answer in there. Okay, so we're revisiting the perimeter. This time we're calculating, we're using our knowledge, our math skills, our addition skills, our multiplication skills to work out the perimeter of certain shapes and certain 2D shapes and certain relating to certain questions. Okay, so just these are from the practice book. So these are the questions that I'd like everyone to have a go at. 
So Jen needs to put a fence around the perimeter of her field. Help her work out the perimeter of each field. So we've got three fields here. Remembering always to start from one point and work out the perimeter of the cow's field, sheep's field, and the goat's field. Okay, so not, not really, really difficult questions, but I'm sure everyone will, will have a bit of fun um, having a go at these, and I'm hoping to see everybody's work sent through to me. So they're the first set of questions. You can go on to the workbook in Active Learn, giving you access to that. And there's the second set of questions and also the reflect. So there's, you can take a screenshot of those if you want. And then have a go at them all and send me the results on Classroom Pedro, please. Okay, have a lovely day today. Um, and I will see you all on Tuesday. See you later, year three. Bye.